Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Shiraz and you're watching Currency Corner, YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today information. Insightful update on Iraq's financial reforms. New moves by the Central Bank of Iraq. Recently, financial expert guru Militia Mann highlighted a notable update, citing an article on recent actions by Iraq's Central Bank, CBI. According to the article, the CBI has now introduced an additional method for channeling funds by pre-funding dollar accounts in domestic commercial banks with international banking partnerships. This approach, specifically involving relationships with Citibank, aims to ease transactions. Despite initial claims from Citibank and JP Morgan that they weren't involved, documents reveal otherwise, confirming Citibank's role in trade finance, which increases the capacity for cross-border transactions. This update isn't based on mere conjecture. It comes directly from the International Monetary Fund's 2024 Article 4 Consultation, a 68-page report available for public download. Militia Man emphasizes that these global partnerships are a foundational part of Iraq's journey toward full integration into the world financial system. Notable commentators Frank 26 and Firefly recently discussed reports from Iraqi television announcing new freedoms for Iraqi citizens, such as the ability to make electronic purchases and move money in and out of the country. Frank 26 underscored that this is a major economic milestone marking the end of years-long limitations on currency movement, which opens up more opportunities for personal financial transactions and signals Iraq's entry into a new age of economic independence. In tandem with these financial shifts, legislative updates are also underway. Intel gurus Mars and Militia Man report that Iraq's parliament is focused on passing three key laws essential to the nation's future. To ensure these laws are finalized, Parliament has extended its session to December 10th, or Victory Day. According to Mars, this includes updates on real estate and land ownership rights, particularly under Article 140 in the economically vital region of Kirkuk. With these laws having already been read twice, an official announcement may be imminent. On the horizon, rumors of a revaluation, RV, are growing stronger. According to insiders like WV and Judy Bankton, the revaluation process has begun in certain areas, and by November 12th, more significant moves could unfold. Plans appear to be in place, with anticipation building for a coordinated launch that could positively impact the value of the Iraqi dinar. Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani has also shared substantial news about major reforms in Iraq's banking sector aimed at modernizing and expanding financial services. Here are the five main elements of this reform package. One. Expansion of bank branches. New branches will open across provinces, making banking services more accessible for both urban and rural populations. Second, technology integration. Upgrades will include online banking and mobile apps, allowing Iraqis to manage finances more easily. Three, financial inclusion. Efforts will focus on extending services to rural areas, ensuring underserved communities can access banking. Fourth, Public awareness. The government plans to hold workshops and conferences to improve public understanding of the banking sector and foster trust. 5. Support for entrepreneurs. Workshops for young business leaders will help them navigate financial services and loan opportunities, stimulating local economic growth and job creation. The Ministry of Finance, the Central Bank, private banks, and Islamic banks will collaborate with provincial governors to ensure these reforms are implemented effectively. To maintain transparency, progress will be reported quarterly to the Prime Minister's office. These reforms represent a major shift towards enhanced economic stability, financial inclusion, and growth for Iraq, providing new prospects for citizens and businesses alike. Notably, the CBI reported a 99% increase in dollar sales in Tuesday's currency auction, with total sales reaching over $281 million at the official exchange rates of 1,310 Iraqi dinars per dollar for credits, electronic card settlements, and foreign transfers, and 1,350 Iraqi dinars per dollar for cash transactions. This surge mainly supports foreign balances through transfers, while a smaller portion involved cash transactions. As Iraq's financial landscape transforms, these progressive changes are expected to accelerate the country's economic growth, creating new opportunities and fostering a modernized 
and globally integrated economy.